Welcome back to N90X and the Riverbed series. Here is one of my Riverbed systems. It's a it was a Steelhead 1050, and I put in four drives, turned it into a RAID array running free NAS. One of the drives started acting up. It didn't fail, but it, it told me to back up the data. Now the disks that I had, they were all 250 gigabytes. Now I've already swapped out the first three, and I'm out on the last one. And if you look, it's still saying I have only 716 gigs available, based upon four times 250 in a ZF ZFS. Uh, it's kind of like a RAID, RAID uh, 5 sort of configuration. One, one drive basically is not being, uh, is used for striping. Of course, it's, it's, it's you know, mixed up. Uh, ZFS, ZFS configuration. So I'm going to swap out the last one. I want to show you how you do that. So basically, if, for instance, if one of your drives is bad, you want to go to storage, click on your pool, click on volume status down at the bottom here and you'll see your disks now the last disk that I have to replace is 83 P2 and the way to do it is select it and then at the bottom take it offline now if you have an extra host bus adapter with additional room for drives of course you can immediately you know that disk would have shown up here as un unaffiliated you can, of course, um, select the drive you just took offline and replace it with a drive that's already in your system. But in my case, I don't have any extra disks connected up. So what I have to do now is go over to the riverbed, pull out that disk that's been marked offline, pull it out, swap it out with a new disk, and then I can replace it and I'll show you how that looks. So on the riverbed, the 83 is this last one. Zero, one, two, three. And it's been marked offline, so I know it's safe to eject it. Whoop, this is the first time it didn't pull out with the tray. So to reach in there put my finger on this edge and kind of twisted it and it undocked it, pulled it out. And the reason for that is I didn't screw in the drive into the tray. It just sitting in there loose. I guess I didn't expect to upgrade it. Now, put your new disc in there. Okay, Santa. Ready to go. I'm upgrading all of these what what was 256 gigs to three terabytes. So this lets you know that three terabyte drives are supported on this riverbed 1050. If anybody had any questions about it? Oh, what's going on now? Get in there. Okay, I finally got it and I wound up using a, a screwdriver while this was open and push the drive in. It's because I didn't screw it to the case, so there's a, like a couple of millimeters of space. So, <clears throat> best practice is to screw it to the case. Now that it's in there, come back to your free NAS console where you offline that drive. Select the drive that's been offlined. It says clearly offline. Right. And then click replace. And it'll find the new disk. Yes, 88.3, 3 terabyte. There's nothing else. It's the only one because it's the only new disk that's available. Replace disk. Just please wait. And now because it needs to re-sliver <coughs> this replacement drive. But once this last drive is re-slivered, I should have approximately nine terabytes available because now it'll be four by three 12 
terabytes, but take out one disk for parity, and it's starting to re-sliver, it'll show you there. Now, the only thing that's bad about this interface is I don't see a way to refresh this. Um, the only way to refresh it is really to go, I want to open up storage on the left side, view volumes, select the pool again, and then volume status, and it'll give you an update. 5%. So it took probably about, I want to say like 30 to 40 minutes per disk to rebuild it. And when this process is finished, we'll take a look at the disks. Uh, you can see they're all now, they're all three terabytes. We'll take a look at the disks and see how much storage we have. Let me go back to. And then when we get back to here, oh, see, already, look at that. Now it's showing 10.7 ter 10 terabytes available, 7, 7.1 available now because I'm, I'm using actually 579 gigabytes. So now it's, yeah, so even before it re-slivered it, it's already updated to the new capacity, which is really, really awesome. So I hope this is helpful. This is what I was going to wait for. This is even before it does the reslivering. It's still working on it. See, now it's up to 14%. But it already shows. It already shows the new capacity. So this is fantastic for my, my lab. I, I now have plenty of space for... Uh, I have a, uh, a Swift share... And I have a ESX iSCSI volume, and I also have a iSCSI volume for Zen Server. So this is fantastic. I was really bumping up on limitations, and now I got plenty of space. So I hope this has been helpful. This is N90X. We'll see you on the next video. Help support this channel by buying a N90X mug. I love Netscaler, N90X.info, your first choice for Netscaler and more training.